Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and donating to my channel. I really do appreciate all the love and all the support. So as you guys could tell by the title of this video, this video is going to be about my singles, what to expect in love. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to smudge, um, the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot deck for the pile selection. Okay. So we're going to get three cards for the pile selection. So we're going to smudge the cards first, and then we're going to get started. So singles, what's next in love? What's next in love singles? Okay. Number one, we have the um, seven of wands. We have the nine of cups. Nine of cups have been coming out a lot lately for pile selections. And pile number three, you have uh, the seven of cups. So seven of wands, pile number one. Nine of cups, pile number two. And pile number three, seven of cups, okay? So pause this video if you must and meditate on the card that you feel most drawn to. You'll be able to find your time stamp in the description box below and I'll see you guys at your pile. Hi, pile one. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So pile number one, you picked the seven of wands. So this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So pile number one, starting from left to right, we have the Muse Tarot deck. The, one, the next one is the uh, Romance Angel Oracle deck. And the next one, the following one is the Gypsy Oracle deck. And last but not least, the Everyday Witch Tarot. Okay? So singles, what's next in love? Okay. So we're going to be using um, the Romance um, angel deck first to set the tone for the reading and then we're going to clarify with the other cards okay so singles what's next in love oh new love okay so you'll be meeting someone new uh, make the effort and trust this is really good okay this could be the one you've already met the um You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So this is good news, pal number one. Okay, so new love, a, romant um, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're, gu um, you're guided to take. Trust. This situation is calling you to have faith, okay? So you've met some someone new or you're about to meet someone new, my pal number one. So I feel like with the seven of wands, you may be defensive towards this new person, okay? When you initially meet them, you may have your guards up with this person, which is totally understandable because I feel like some of you have been single for a while. So maybe this is the reason why you may have your guards up with this person, but yeah so definitely a new person and it's safe to make the effort okay so like basically what i'm getting is like put your guards down a little bit and trust that this situation is calling you to have faith so it's telling you to have faith in this new connection okay singles what's next in love okay so we have the eight of wands which is like fast communication so this person i'm getting that they are probably already in your energy field okay i saw the five of wands so i'm getting like competition maybe this person is like very good looking they may have like other people they may have like other offers so singles what's next in love Okay, we have the Knight of Swords. 
singles what's next in love we have the king of cups which is good singles what's next in love we have the three of swords okay so maybe this is what it is the three of swords you're afraid of being heartbroken this person that you this new person that you just met or about to meet is very loving very nurturing with the king of cups okay um emotionally intelligent i'm getting with the three of uh, with the king of cups i feel like with the knight of swords um this connection is going to happen quickly like you guys are gonna it's going to kick kick off quickly and this is the reason why maybe you might be distant or hesitant with this person because like the connection will like it will pick up fast with the eight of wands and the knight of swords these are like two fast moving energy and with the three of swords i'm really getting like this is like heartbreak or like i'm getting with the three of swords it is heartbreak but you're scared to repeat the same mistake so this is why you have your guards up with this person but the universe is calling you to trust and make the effort to meet this person halfway okay you don't have to yeah you see the ace of cups and the eight of pentacles i'm getting this person will be dedicated to this love like this is ace of pentacles is like new love as well so this person i'm getting with the eight of pentacles they're going to be dedicated to this relationship okay dedicated they're going to make effort too we have the four of wands this is like uh, twin flame lovers okay we have the page of cups what's next in love for my singles so page of cups could represent an apology some of you may receive an apology from an ex we have the strength card so this person can be a leo or it could be a water sign or like a leo cancer cusp with the king of pentacles so this new person i'm really getting like this person is going to be dedicated to you they're going to be um responsive to your feelings okay they're going to be attentive as well i'm getting with the with the page of cups this person could definitely be a fire sign okay leo specifically with the strength here maybe this person i'm getting as well they may have been through a hardship with the three of swords maybe they this is why they will be like understanding towards you the, i'm getting like this person will be patient too i'm really getting invested i'm getting eight of cups so that's walking away we have eight 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 and we have nine of cups this is wish fulfillment so with the eight of pentacles being here and the nine of cups being underneath it i'm getting like this person is going to see you as a wish fulfillment but with the eight of cups that's walking away maybe you may fear walking away or this person like you may feel like this person will walk away from you because this person i feel like for you they may feel like too good to be true if this person has not arrived in your world yet they're in your energy field yeah you feel like it could be a conflict with the five of swords singles what's next in love so we have the ten of wands okay i feel like maybe somebody else may be trying to come back in your world with the apology here and it could create some sort of conflict with the five of swords because I feel like this new person is definitely wish fulfillment. And we have 888. 888 is all about abundance, okay? Uh, prosperity. So this relationship, this connection, this new love is worth making the effort. And you should trust that this new person is coming with good intentions here. I'm getting there's two energy here. There's not one person. Do you have somebody from the past that wants to apologize? okay somebody that you walked away from and we have the nine of cups which is this person that's going to be dedicated to you okay that has a lot of love for you that's going to be patient with you okay caring loving okay this person is able like i said able to shoulder great responsibilities with the ten of wands but i feel like you have someone else in your auric field that wants to come back okay yeah constancy this person is going to be committed you see with the eight of pentacles and constancy they're going to be committed to you what's next in love we have the lord we this is like the the emperor to me what's next in love for my singles what's next in love what's next in love for my singles what's next in love okay we have you see enemy and malady 
like I said, there is somebody around you that is not happy. Okay, there's an enemy around you with the malady. They're sick. And this is that person that wants to apologize to you. They want to bring conflict. Okay, there is somebody else. Like, I'm really getting, like, a um, cock-blocking energy. Okay? Sorry for swearing, but this is what I'm getting. This enemy person, this person's sick. Somebody from your past wants to return. While you're, like, basically, they're going to see you with this new love, this new energy. Or maybe they're just going to hear about it. Like, you know, maybe you guys still have some mutual friends. But you have an enemy in your midst. That doesn't want you to, like, you know. We have love. This enemy doesn't want you to get the love. And I'm really getting this person, this ex of yours is sick. Yeah, they're in sorrow. This this new person is going to be like the love of your life. Okay, they're gonna be con they're gonna be constantly like you know they're gonna make effort to come towards you. They're gonna put the effort in this relationship. And there's someone else, old lady. This old lady could be like a parent, or it could be like a feminine energy in your life that is like an enemy too. Okay, because it's on top of like the enemy card. Okay, we have journey here let's ask okay spirit what is enemy can you clarify enemy wow you see nine of swords this enemy is sick they're in their, their head okay malady that's sickness so they're maybe having like a lot of sleepless nights anxiety depression there is someone else not i don't think it's this new person okay you're the star here you're healing and i'm really getting like this is the new love that's gonna make you like forget that your heart was ever broken okay this new person is gonna be dead i'm really getting dedicated okay and they're gonna be worth it but there is someone else in your auric field that's an enemy they're all in their head they're sick okay i feel like really mental illness and I feel bad, like, because I'm really getting, like, this person, nine of swords, malady, sorrow. This is, like, deep depression here. And this person's a foe, like, they're an enemy. And this could be an old lady, an older person that, like, it could also be, like, somebody in your family that's a feminine energy that's seeing that you're going to get this new blessing, this new love that's not happy. Like, it could be a family member, like an auntie, cousin. But it's somebody that's older than you, that's watching your journey, that's in sorrow because you're getting love. You're getting like you're healing. You're getting that love because you walked away from something that was toxic for you. Or you walked away from people that were like trying to stop you from, you know, getting the love that you deserve. Because the wheel is turning in your favor. I'm really getting that. The wheel is turning in your favor. And now you're finally getting the, what you deserve in love. Okay. I feel like maybe some people were stalling you when it comes to love stalling your blessings and now this person is in sickness maybe like whatever they were trying to do is returning back on them and now they're being sick because the enemy is clarified by nine of swords so this person is all in their head they're not happy during they're in sadness depression i'm really getting depression yeah you see they're heartbroken for sword because you put something to rest you're no longer talking to this person. Whoever it is, this is somebody from your past that you're no longer talking to. Okay? But I'm really getting, like, when it comes to love, like, you're really getting this new love, this new person, but someone else that wants to, like, come and sabotage this, but they can't, okay? This is why they're in sorrow. We have the page of pentacles. Yeah, this is a promising. It's going to start off small with this new person. It's going to start off small, but it's going to, like, built to the ace of pentacles okay what singles what can they expect in love yeah we have tower i feel like this person's having a tower moment yeah this person's having a tower moment yeah because you walked away you walk it's like somebody that you walked away from that's like looking at you getting this new blessing ever since you walked away from this person or these people it could be people too it could not be one person you're getting your blessing you're getting this new love okay it's because you walked away from something something that was toxic for you you put it to rest and whoever you put to rest that energy is still trying to come back to make a comeback but they want to make a comeback to try to be controlling with the five of swords to create some sort of chaos or burden for you okay because they see you getting your nine of cups you're getting your wish fulfillment this new person that's coming in is your person okay it is your person this could be the one this is the bottom of the deck energy okay so like this old person is watching you and trying to stop this but it's not gonna happen i'm really getting that this is why they're sick because they know it's like destined to happen and they can't do nothing about it 
all right so that's all I have for you, my pal number one. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number one. Bye. Hi, pal two. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So pal number two, you picked the nine of cups. So this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started so we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So pile number two, starting from left to right, we have the Muse Tarot deck. Then following that, we have the Romance Angel Oracle deck. Following that is the Gypsy Oracle deck. And last but not least, the Everyday Witch Tarot on the far right, okay? So singles, what's next in love? Singles, what's next in love? What's next in love, singles? So we're gonna use the uh, Romance Angel Oracle deck to set the tone, okay? So singles, what's next in love? Ooh, soulmate. We have playfulness. What's next in love? Okay, getting to know each other. Okay, attraction. This is really good, pal number two. I like this energy. So definitely resonates with the Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment, okay? so this like this new person that's coming in your life is your soulmate okay yes this is your soulmate this is going to be wish fulfillment we have playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit to have uh, fun to shine so it's like basically telling you to flirt to, you know getting to know each other so this is somebody that could be new in your world or somebody that you're about to meet because getting to know each other that means you guys don't know each other really well Okay, so it's just like at the beginning initial stage of this connection. So yes, this is really good energy. I like this, okay? So as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So this is somebody that you just met, okay? So singles, yes, this is your soulmate. I love this. Okay, let's continue. Pile number two. So you see, um, Knight of Pentacles. So I'm getting like this person is very, they're grounded. I'm getting a grounded energy. We have the Wheel of Fortune, the Seven of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Emperor. This is divine counterpart. Okay, wow, Four of Wands, Twin Flame Soulmate energy. Definitely, guys, this is good energy. With the Seven of Wands here, I feel like this person may come off as being defensive or, you know, on guard. But really, it's just like, that's just how they are. They don't open up quickly. They take their time, okay? They're patient. But once they give their love, they give their love. It's for, it's for real, okay? It's not like they don't change their mind, okay? They're slow to make a decision with the seven, with the Knight of pentacles but once they make a decision you cannot make them change their mind this person is sure about the decision so seven of wands i'm really getting like it could be your energy okay your have your guards up to this person or this person has their guards up to you but the universe is asking you guys to just be playful with this person okay just allow your youthful energy to shine through with the ace of cups they definitely have feelings for you okay this new person okay wow we have the magician and we have the four of swords so this person is definitely great manifester they have multiple skills so this person is very talented this person could be a gemini or a virgo uh or an aries okay or you could be the aries here so i'm getting like entrepreneur vibe boss vibe so this person is i feel like also financially stable with the emperor they have like um, a great head on their shoulder and they're reliable with the knight of pentacles this is somebody that you could trust okay but i feel like you guys are still at the initial stage four of swords is like i'm getting with the four of swords there was some sort of like something that this person had to put to rest they had to let go of something first in order to come towards you you see six of swords they walked away from something they walked away from something that was no longer serving them so i feel like also this person's been single for maybe um a while too okay 
they heal themselves this person has been through a lot i'm getting this is why they're cautious with the knight of pentacles this person is very cautious but highly intelligent i'm getting here wow you see nine of pentacles this person lives a life of luxury okay so they're definitely single just like you and their wish fulfillment because they i feel like this person mirrors you as well they live a life of luxury definitely could be a virgo okay this could be somebody that you know through work with the three of pentacles somebody that you work with but they are a great team player with the three of pentacles this is what i'm getting from this person they're a great team player whoever is coming towards you is the one for you this is your soulmate this is somebody that you're supposed to be with and the universe is asking you to get to know this person okay take your time there's no need to rush because you guys have forever okay so this is what i'm getting like you know what i mean by forever like a long time so and this person's very patient they like to do things slow and steady they don't like to be rushed okay and i feel like they're also um very methodical they like to do things like they don't mind like routine okay so this person could be not boring but uh repetitive okay they like to do things in a certain way and they like to do things like like they're disciplined also this is what i'm getting like this is what i'm going back to discipline behavior so they like to do things all the time the same way they don't like change they're not really good with change i'm getting a little bit stubborn energy but they're really a good person they're financially stable eligible bachelor the nine of pentacles for me is always the le most legible bachelor okay somebody who is like great you see ace <laughs> ace of swords spirit is confirming ace of swords this person is a legible bachelor okay i feel like there's a lot of people that want them but this person is like very selective it's not easy to get with this person okay this is what i'm getting yeah eight of wands they want to communicate with you i feel like for some of you you may already have this person in your world or this person is going to come quickly in your world and they're going like the communication with you and this person is going to happen really fast and i feel like it's going to be passionate too okay you guys are going to have passionate long conversations it's going to be fun yeah this person may be already like if they're thinking about you i feel like they're in a deep thought so we have lovers they want to be your lover because I'm getting like, this is not somebody that you're, wow, you see, they want to be, they want to make you a wife. Consolation. So maybe this person has like, I'm getting like, for some of you, this person may have like wanted to be married to someone else and then it didn't work out with them. And now like, you know, this is why they had to walk away with the four swords. But I feel like this person has been heartbroken in love before. Okay. Or they've been engaged before and it didn't work out. So this is the reason why they're cautious. This is what I'm getting here. But they want to make you like this person's going to make you their wife or their husband. They're going to want to marry. They're going to be serious about it. They're not going to play around. They're not going to be, they're not joking. So when they're going to come towards you, if you haven't met this person yet, it's like in their mind, that's what they want. That's going to be the end goal to make you a wife or to make like to be, you know, husband. Okay. That's what they want. And with the messenger, I feel like this person's gonna like initiate the conversation. Like you guys are gonna be like, the lover wanted to come out, but you see love. Yeah, this person's gonna come with love. They have the thought of love, okay? What's next in love for my pal number two? What's next in love? Uh. So, what's next in love? Okay, what's this card? Scholar, and we have a letter. So what I get with scholar, this person may have went to school with you, or this person is like, will pay attention to you, uh, pay attention to like watch you a lot with the scholar here. They're gonna be dedicated as well with the letter. I feel like this person's gonna be romantic with the letter gonna write you a lot of letters or you like i'm also getting a friend okay so you may meet this person through a friend yeah or like through school i'm getting with the friend 
So what is friend spirit? What is friend? We have the Knight of Wands. Okay, Knight of Wands is like player energy. And the card that I wanted to come out with um, friend is like foe. So you may have a friend. Yeah, the Three of Pentacles, the Three of Cups wanted to come out in reverse. You may have a friend around you that may be opposed to this relationship, that may not want this relationship to come to fruition. This friend could be a Knight of Wands, like a player energy that wants to just like maybe change things change faith into their favor maybe they like you they have feelings for you but the full card wanted to come out it came out twice i didn't take it the first time but the second time it fell but i didn't take it because i wasn't called to take it but i was called to take friends so you have a friend around you that could be a foe okay that i'm really getting like the universe wants me to say that this is why it kept on coming out okay so to just be mindful that this friend may be somebody from your past okay six of cups childhood friend that may not see this come to fruition okay this person may like tell lies or trying to make make it seem like this person this new person that's coming towards you like as if they're a player but really it's your friend or want to keep you stuck but yeah this friend doesn't want you to be successful yeah you see the devil you have a friend from the past that's toxic that's why four wanted to come out and it kept on coming out with the friend somebody from your past somebody from your childhood is not happy somebody who is trying to maybe keep you in a player energy maybe in the past you used to be a player not for everybody but i'm getting like maybe this person made you do like things that are impulsive or was like a bad influence for you okay so this is what i'm getting like with that friend just be mindful like maybe don't share your don't share your relationship um problems or don't share your relationship progress with this friend because they're going to tell you stuff to keep you stuck or like tell you that this person this new person is a player when really this person's just trying to like you know be a devil and talk ish in your ears to make you doubt yourself or make you doubt this love connection because i'm really getting like this person's true okay this new love that's coming towards you yeah six of pentacles six of pentacles is about all about equal give and take okay we have the strength here this is your energy okay i maybe you've been through a lot when it comes to love and now you're finally getting the love of your life and then you have somebody around you that wants to like you know stop you and it says a friend you have a friend around you that's not happy about you getting this new love getting this soulmate okay we have the three of pentacles yeah three of pentacles is like you know it could also mean friendship and we have the ace of swords yeah the truth we have the ace of swords here twice it could be also somebody that you work with with the three of pentacles okay but there is like um it's like this energy i've been getting it a lot like that people have people around them that are watching them you know getting the love of their life or getting like what they deserve when it comes to love and other people hating okay people are not happy pretending to be your friend but smiling in your face but really they're not happy but you're getting your your justice this is like divinely this is what was supposed to happen for you we're in year six universal year six so a lot of people are going to meet their soulmate in this year and but there's some people that are not okay not everybody will be meeting their soulmate but it's like heavy for people to meet their soulmate and some people are trying to be cock blockers okay they're trying to block people from getting their love with the devil here okay they're trying to be toxic okay but i'm really getting it's going to be wish fulfillment this person that's coming towards you is the one for you this is your soulmate okay and you're you need to get to know each other this is why i'm getting like maybe this person like this devil is trying to like revert you back to old toxic ways and then make you miss on the love of your life all right just to be mindful this is like just like a warning i'm getting all right so that's all I have for you, my pal number three. I hope this reading, uh, sorry, my pal number two. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number three. Bye. Sorry, pal number two. Oh my God, bye. <laughs> Hi, pal three. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So pal number three, you picked the seven of cups. So this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. 
so we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous uh, readings, okay? Okay, so pile number three. Starting from left to right, we have the Muse Tarot deck. Following that is the Romance Angel Oracle deck. After that is the Gypsy Oracle deck. And the one on the far right is the Everyday Witch Tarot, okay? So singles, what's next in love for you, okay? What's next in love? Pile number three, what's next in love? So we're going to start with the Romance Angel deck, just to set the tone for the reading, okay? So singles, what's next in love? We have healing family issues. We have calling in your soulmate. And we have this could be the one, wow. Okay, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. That's the bottom of the deck. So we have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. We have calling in calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmation, and vis visualization helps bring you together. And we have this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So I feel like with the Seven of Cups, you've already met the partner that you seek. You already called in your soulmate, but you're being called to heal family issues. You still have a lot of like wounds that you need to heal, but your soulmate is already in your energy field. With the Seven of Cups is one of your options, like people that you've met, people that you're dating, you know, getting to know each other. This person is already there, okay? You've already met this person. But I'm getting like there is some sort of like... There is some sort of like healing that needs to be done with healing your family issues. Maybe you need to forgive. Like it says, you need to forgive your parents. We have the Knight of Swords, the um, Ace of Pentacles. So this person is going to be stable. We have the Nine of Cups. They're going to be Wish Fulfillment. And we have the High Priestess, which is Cancer Energy. So this person could be a Cancer or you could be a Cancer here. It's going to be a deep soul uh, soul connection, okay? It's going to happen quickly with the Knight of Swords, okay? I feel like it's going to happen quickly once you heal the family issues. Because um, I'm getting like this person's already there. You already met them. But with the family issues, that could create some sort of illusion. So it's not like I'm getting... Once you heal the family issues that you have, you're not going to be confused about who this person is because like I said, this person's already in your energy field. You already met them. However, because you have a lot of options, you have a lot of people like I want to date you. I feel like because you haven't healed your family issues, you're not seeing the patterns that are repeating themselves and you're not being able to weed out, weed out this person from the options that you already have. Okay. This person is going to be wish fulfillment, everything that you want for in a partner. They're going to be stable. They're going to be reliable, emotionally in tune with the high priestess. I feel like this person already knows you. Okay. We have the chariot, but it's in reverse. So this is like the chariot in reverse to me is like a reckless energy. And it's like, um, not being, um, able, not trusting themselves. Okay. Not being a discipline as well. Okay. So we have Awakening and Six of Wands. This person could be in the spotlight with the Six of Wands. This person could be, um, they could have a, like a large social media or like be respected in their community. Yeah, this person is definitely a lover. Definitely Twin Flame. This is what it says. Um, this could be the one. This person could be a Gemini or you could be the Gemini here. Or this person could be um, Gemini Cancer Cusp here with the High Priestess and Lovers. This person is the right option, but with the chariot, I'm feeling like hesitancy. Also being not being structured and disciplined. And you see the seven of wands, I mean, seven of cups is all about confusion. Okay. So maybe you're not being uh, clear about like what you want. Maybe when you're calling in your soulmate, you're not like, you're not seeing what you're calling in. Okay. Because of the illusion. So I'm getting like this person's already there. This person is in the spotlight. Like, I feel like this person already know who you are. I feel like they're already picking up on that with the high priestess, but it's only you that is like maybe confused about who this person is to you because you have too many options. 
what is this card we have seven of cups again you see having a lot of options this is why the chariot is here in reverse it's like being confused about your options as well or being not able to make a choice about your options you have people from your past also maybe like um coming up as an option with the six of cups there could be somebody from your past that's like still lingering in your energy i've been getting that for like all three piles like somebody from your past or people from the past try to stall you or stop you from making this step towards something better something new because six um we have the 2022 is a six year in numerology and it's a universal year for everybody so a lot of people are going to be meeting their soulmate and i'm getting that vibe for all the piles but you guys have all different sort of challenges each and every one of you and it also relates to people from your past like trying to stop you guys from moving on to the next level because they know that they can come with you you see ten of swords i'm really getting like people that betrayed you from your past that breadcrumb you okay and i feel like one of your options like i feel like if you go for the person from your past somebody that you're familiar with with the six of cups is going to lead to the ten of swords this person is going to breadcrumb you one of your options here okay because i'm getting you have multiple options too many options where you unable to choose with the chariot being in reverse having it's like chariot in reverse is lack of direction and we have seven of cups is confusion so you're not sure where you're going you need to heal maybe like the family issues that you need to heal is going to help you gain some sort of um clarity and it's going to be easier for you to recognize this person i feel like this person is like giving you the free will to choose who you want to be with but this person like the right one for you is there already it's just that you need to clear the frog the frog the fog and clear out like the people from your past or people that are not serving you because they're, all they're going to do is bring the ten of sword to you breadcrumb you with the page of cups this person you see wedding this person wants to like you know this soulmate is going to be serious about you they're going to want to marry you they're going to want to have a child with you okay they're going to be dedicated yeah they want to build a house with you this person this soulmate that, that's there already they want to establish themselves with you they're going to be a uh, constancy where they're going to be like dedicated to you they're going to love you they're going to want to build a house with you marry you all that good jazz they're not going to want to just like you know breadcrumb you you have people i'm really getting like you have people from your past like people that are still in your energy field with the seven of cups that are just bringing confusion to you and bringing the ten of swords where they're going to just betray you breadcrumb you while this person this new person that's coming in they're coming in with love okay on top of wedding okay like if you heal those family issues then it, i'm really getting like once you heal that you will allow like you will be able to see this person for who they are because i feel like the family issues is blinding you from this person because you're going back to what you're used to you see it's telling you to be hopeful okay to be hopeful i feel like maybe this person may not be like your usual type yeah we have a letter okay this person wants to communicate with you what's next in love yeah we have auntiness okay so what i'm getting with the with this card is like maybe you're yeah i'm really getting like this person this the one that could be the one is not your usual type they may look different from what you're used to and maybe this is what's like making you not see them as an option or a potential option because this person's already there and this person is like i feel like they hopeful that you would like you know pick, pick them because i feel like they're not what you're expecting them to be so let's clarify autiness please what's autiness please okay that's way too many cards what's autiness so we have the two of swords didn't i say that's confusion that's stalemate yeah you're being a stalemate to this person because like i feel like they're not they don't look like what you expect and you're going back to what you're used to i'm getting like with the queen of swords is like maybe you're judging this person too harshly with the queen of swords yeah because i feel like this person is more emotional more loving more like they use their heart not their head to make a decision while you're the queen of swords you use your head and not your heart to make a decision 
maybe this is where like you know maybe you were thought to use your head when it comes to love yes it's true to use your head but you also have to bring love into it you have to be like more open to this person i'm getting okay but you have to heal family issues yeah you have to walk away from something that's no longer serving you leave something out in the past in the cold and then turn your back into it okay i'm getting like you really have to be more disciplined as well we have the ace of cups i'm really getting loving energy from this person this person has a, like a lot of love for you okay or like they already know i feel like this person already knows that you're the one but they're just waiting on you okay yeah the world here like a chapter is ending for you so you no longer have to worry about people that are not good for you because you already called in your soulmate that person's already there so right now is for you to close a chapter i'm really getting like you need to close a chapter on people from your past that are bringing you ten of sword because if you keep them in your world that's all it's going to do and it's probably going to like stall this connection or like break this connection or make you miss this person okay yeah we have the strength here what's next in love for my pal number three yeah you see we have let me get those cards we have the nine of swords and we have the eight of cups so basically the spirit is asking you to take your strength and let go of nine of swords i feel like nine of swords is the family issues that you're that are keeping you up at night that you need to walk away from leave out in the cold okay walk away i'm really getting like walk away from something that's no longer serving you or even the way you think about love it's like stemming back to your childhood something in your childhood happened and affected the way you communicate in love the way you um, love other people or the way you receive love and i'm getting like once you heal that once you walk away from like that nine of swords maybe like you've been through you've seen people go through um, emotional abuse with the nine of swords verbal abuse and like you're scared to repeat the same mistakes or like that you're doomed to re repeat those same mistakes but i'm getting like no you're not doomed for that okay you're calling in your soulmate this person is very loving very nurturing very different from what you're used to so you don't have to worry about that you don't have to worry about like repeating that cycle because it has ended for you there is hope in love like there is like good love coming towards you but like i said i just feel like this person that you are hoping to be your soulmate does not look like your typical what you're used to this is what I'm getting here. And the universe is asking you to have the strength to walk away from what's no longer serving you. Because that person is there. Walk away from the options that are similar to what you're used to in the past. I'm getting with the Six of Cups. And then from there, you'll be able to see this person for who they are. They're a soulmate. Okay? So that's all I have for you, my pal number three. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number three. Bye!